No, this is not a full episode. Today's topic comes with a lot of baggage. But I'm glad to see your smiling faces today. How are you guys doing? Are you having a happy new year so far? Thank you so much for tuning in today and I want to share with you guys something that happened with me over this week. I was in a meeting and an elderly lady in the meeting got a phone call during the meeting and her phone started ringing out loud. So she pulls out her phone and she frantically tries to turn the phone silent by tapping its screen and it doesn't work. So she ends up answering the call and hanging up. I tried to intervene before she did that and um, eventually I didn't <laughs> because I realized that I may seem condescending when I s- solved such a simple problem in her life. That got me thinking, do phone manufacturers put enough thought into their user interface? Are we just caught up in a design so sleek, so polished, so shiny that its functionality is not very obvious? In design thinking, that is called a Norman door. This topic is really interesting and I'd like to spend some time talking about it, but let's just put a pause on that. I can leave a link in the description and you can check it out, but let's just put a pause on that philosophy because there's no solution in philosophy. There's just philosophy in philosophy. I've checked out the top phone makers today, Android and obviously Apple makes iPhones. This method works for all these phones. When you're getting a call in the middle of a meeting and you forgot to put it on silent and it's ringing like a cuckoo clock, all you need to do is hit the volume button. This instantly silences your phone. Whether it's the down volume button or the up volume button, it doesn't matter. Just hit one of them and that should silence your phone. Some phones turn silent when you hit the power button and some phones don't. So if you have somebody else's phone on the table that's ringing and you want it to silence itself, then just press the volume button and that should solve it. I looked at the iPhone screen when there is a call coming in and there is a slide to answer. There's no silence, there's no hang up. I discovered you need to swipe up to hang up Um, or not. I don't know. That's Steve Jobs once said that iOS was so easy that even little kids could understand how to use it. On the surface, maybe he was right, but this call feature is broken and it needs to be fixed. My dad had a Nokia back in the day and a Nokia 1100 at that. And um, when he received a call, I remember there was a receive call button, hang up button and even a silence button. Where is that functionality today? It's just hidden away and no one knows where it is. Um, Unless someone tells you, you wouldn't know. I know how my phone sits in my pocket. It sits with it with its screen down and on my phone the volume buttons are on its left. So if I get a call in a meeting and I forgot to silence the phone, then I just reach for my phone. I don't even get it out of the trousers. I reach for my phone and press the volume button. If you guys use an iPhone or some Android phones which have this slider, consider using it. That's it for this video guys. If you didn't know how to do that, I know this video was helpful for you guys. Let me know that it helped you by giving me a like. Take care of yourselves. I hope you had a nice Christmas and a happy new year. I'll see you guys next week in the same place. Until then, keep learning.